do you play reptile in mortal kombat 1 well here are the best cameos that you need to be using take it one step at a time Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. So the first thing you must ask yourself for considering a good cameo for Reptile is what is Reptile's game plan? What does Reptile want to do in the fight? Obviously we got great tools, we got fun combos, but a big deal about Reptile is he can go invisible, but it does take a second. But fighting invisible is such a huge advantage because then your opponent has no idea where you're at, what you're going to do, how you're going to fight, are you going to go low overhead or grab? There's so many options to do while you're invisible that you might want to choose a cameo that helps that utility and a cameo that I love to use with Reptile is Frost because of her back cameo move the Frost Orb here this gives us that space that time that pressure to then go invisible then rush our opponent while they're afraid to approach us by the time they do or by the time they can we're invisible so what you might do is you might knock your opponent down then throw out the Frost so they don't want to approach you then go invisible and then do your thing I just like to have that space and have that time to be able to go invisible because a lot of the time the game is so fast paced You actually don't have that time to do so and then of course who doesn't love a low mix-up freeze just for free combos here So you could really just use that freeze go invisible then go for the pressure again Again, I just find frost cameo moves to be a really good asset for reptiles moveset and his utility She's just a great option If you don't really care about that pressure and that utility to help you go in invisible Then you might care a bit more about combos and extending those combos and a great cameo for that is scorpion Especially because reptile has a lot of tools like his force ball that put your opponent You know quite high in the air and scorpion really helps that not only that, but if you're Reptile main, you might notice that Reptile doesn't have a ton of overhead options. We have her back to held, but you gotta hold that and then it's a pop-up. But normally, it's just a slam down. Scorpion gives us a great overhead option for mix of utility, and if hit, it's a combo extender. So it actually gives Reptile some good mix-up options rather than just always going for lows. So you can go low, hit, and then overhead. And just gives you an option to extend combos and the mix-ups plus if you ever need to you get that full screen reset that does give you that space and time to maybe go invisible then rush in so no matter what cameo move you're using from scorpion it's going to help benefit reptile in a lot of ways for the same reason you might choose scorpion you also might choose darius as a great cameo option for reptile again we get an awesome overhead that we can either extend the combo off of or again go for the almost impossible mix-up where we throw out darius and then go for our back three which is the low that's an insane low overhead combo that's almost impossible to block and you can usually get a combo off it by using your force ball darius just offers another overhead option to extend your mix-up game as a reptile player which you might really want and then again we get awesome combo extension if you do need that mid to long range game you got that good awesome back cameo move that just has more reach to it. Darius is a great cameo for Reptile for the overhead combo extension. You get some good stuff when using Darius. These are just my cameo recommendations, guys. Let me know down below who do you pair up with Reptile and why. Make sure and subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.